Longman Preparation Series for the TOEIC Test. More Practice Tests. Third Edition. CD4. Practice Test 4. Listening Comprehension. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture in your test book, and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture in your test book and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and mark your answer. Look at the sample below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're looking out the window. B. They're having a meeting. C. They're eating in a restaurant. D. They're moving the furniture. Statement B. They're having a meeting. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's wearing protective clothing. B. She's buying a new hat. C. She's storing food in jars. D. She's dressing for a party. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The water glass is empty. B. The swimmers are racing. C. The man is cleaning the pool. D. The guest is relaxing by the pool. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The man is putting the suitcase into the trunk. B. The woman is walking behind the man. C. The couple is getting out of the car. D. The bags are being weighed. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. She's closing the notebook. B. She's filling out a form. C. She's checking the bookshelves. D. She's cleaning the table. Go on to the next page. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The cord is being cut. B. The telephone booth is on the corner. C. The woman is on the phone. D. The tourist is studying the map. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. The panes are in the frames. B. The planes are at their gates. C. The trains are in the station. D. The cranes are on the wharf. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The ferry is crossing the water. B. The passengers are boarding at the pier. C. The sailboat is in the harbor. D. 
The tanker is in dry dock. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. The architect is making a sketch. B. The librarian is reading a book. C. The broadcaster is speaking into the microphone. D. The manufacturer is making radios. Go on to the next page. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. He's trying to catch a mouse. B. He's holding a pad of paper. C. He's examining his eyes. D. He's working at his computer. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The tourists are on the bus. B. The women are looking at brochures. C. The directions are on the map. D. The information is in the directory. Number 11. Look at the picture marked number 11 in your test book. A. They're in a waiting area. B. They're in an operating room. C. They're on a factory floor. D. They're on a loading dock. Number 12. Look at the picture marked number 12 in your test book. A. The jazz club is long and dark. B. The man is collecting stamps. C. The orchestra is tuning up. D. The musician is playing for money. Go on to the next page. Number 13. Look at the picture marked number 13 in your test book. A. The seamstress is making an alteration. B. The waitress is taking an order. C. The actress is auditioning for a part. D. The politician is introducing herself. Number 14. Look at the picture marked number 14 in your test book. A. They're looking for a light. B. They're lighting a fire. C. They're fighting a fire. D. They're watering the garden. Number 15. Look at the picture marked number 15 in your test book. A. The bus is parked by the entrance. B. The tanker is on the open sea. C. The cart is on the train platform. D. The fuel truck is by the plane. Number 16. Look at the picture marked number 16 in your test book. A. She's measuring an angle. B. She's reaching for the controls. C. She's answering a question. D. She's boarding the plane. Go on to the next page. Number 
Look at the picture marked number 17 in your test book. A. He's pouring a cup of coffee. B. He's emptying his pockets. C. He's spilling the liquid. D. He's brewing a pot of coffee. Number 18. Look at the picture marked number 18 in your test book. A. The customers are waiting for a table. B. The people are reading their newspapers. C. The library is open at night. D. The menus are being printed. Number 19. Look at the picture marked number 19 in your test book. A. The window is being washed. B. The film is about to begin. C. The buckets are in the store. D. The washing machine is outside. Number 20. Look at the picture marked number 20 in your test book. A. The shelves are empty. B. The closet is full of shoes. C. The athlete is on the track. D. The shoes are on the shelves. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You are to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear, Good morning, John. How are you? You will also hear, A. I am fine, thank you. B. I am in the living room. C. My name is John. The best response to the question, How are you? is choice A. I am fine, thank you. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Now let us begin part two with question number 21. Number 21. What time will the bank open? A. It opens at 8 a.m. B. The door is open. C. The bank has a large clock. Number 22. Where did you park the car? A. The day before yesterday. B. I bought a new car. C. In the parking lot. Number 23. How often do you watch TV? A. My watch needs to be repaired. B. I watch the news every evening. C. The TV is in the living room. Number 24. Why are you walking so quickly? A. Sue talks very fast. B. I'm late for a meeting. C. They enjoy walking. Number 25. Who may I say is calling? A. My name is Ralph Smith. B. You are calling my mother. C. You didn't tell me who called. Number 26. When do you expect your visitor? A. 
Her visit was too short. B. He should arrive any minute. C. I'll visit there next week. Number 27. Whose car shall we take? A. It's shallow. B. We took the bus. C. Let's take my car. Number 28. How hungry are you? A. Not very, but I could eat. B. I've never been to Hungary. C. Because I haven't eaten. Number 29. Which letter will you answer first? A. I'll mail the letter tomorrow. B. This is my last envelope. C. I'll answer the first one I received. Number 30. Do I have any messages? A. Yes, your wife called at noon. B. I had a massage. C. No one has seen us for ages. Number 31. Why is the ground wet? A. He hasn't grown up yet. B. It rained all morning. C. Because it's round. Number 32. Where are the invoices? A. They're in the files. B. Her voice is low. C. The invoice is paid. Number 33. Why don't you take a vacation? A. I'll take them with me. B. I'm too busy at work. C. I take public transportation. Number 34. What color will you paint the walls? A. I think green's a good color. B. Because he painted it blue. C. He read the poster on the wall. Number 35. Do any of you like sugar with your coffee? A. He doesn't like cigars. B. We all like sugar with our coffee. C. Sugar is very sweet. Number 36. How much time will it take to finish the building? A. The architect thinks about three more months. B. The building is 30 stories high. C. We'll be here about six o'clock. Number 37. Whose newspaper is on the table? A. The table is by the window. B. It's our new table. C. That newspaper belongs to me. Number 38. Did the mail come yet? A. No, we'll eat later. B. Yes, the mail is on your desk. C. Nobody came this morning. Number 39. What was the last speech about? A. It lasted about 10 minutes. B. The speaker discussed management. C. The first speech was very interesting. Number 
When did the train arrive? A. It arrived on time at 6.40. B. It rained all night. C. They came by train. Number 41. Why are you working late? A. You never work at night. B. Because my work is finished. C. I have to finish this report. Number 42. Where should the applicants wait? A. Let them sit in my office. B. We applied for a job here. C. They waited for over an hour. Number 43. Can you recommend a good hotel? A. I don't have a reservation. B. That's not good enough. C. I like the new hotel by the river. Number 44. Which do you prefer, a pen or a pencil? A. My pencil needs sharpening. B. I prefer to write with a pen. C. This pen writes well. Number 45. How many employees do you have? A. I have nine employees. B. My employees work very hard. C. Because we pay well. Number 46. Where did you leave your coat? A. I left it on the bus. B. I bought my coat last year. C. Leave your coat at the door. Number 47. When will the weather get warmer? A. They'll get her one tomorrow. B. Whenever she wants. C. Not until summer. Number 48. Who's copying the report? A. The reporter asked the questions. B. The clerk is making five copies. C. The copyright date is 2003. Number 49. Is your chair comfortable? A. No, it's very uncomfortable. B. Yes, the chairman is available. C. He's neither fair nor capable. Number 50. How far is your office from here? A. Not bad, thank you. B. It's only about a mile. C. I can hear very well. Go on to the next page. Part 3. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several short conversations between two people. The conversations will not be printed in your test book. You will hear the conversations only once, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. In your test book, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part three with question number 51. Number 51. Have you finished with the sports section? 
Here, you can have all the newspaper. How could you have read it so quickly? Number 52. The driver will meet you at the gate. What kind of car will he be driving? He has a large black limousine. Number 53. Where do you keep the paper cups? They're in the cabinet above the sink. I looked there. I think you're out of cups. Number 54. How many children do you have? I have one boy and two girls. That's a good number. I have four. Number 55. Is your husband a doctor? No, he trained to be an architect, but he's working for the city. I studied to be a lawyer, but I never practiced law. Number 56. This flashlight won't work. Maybe it needs new batteries. I'm sure it does. The ones inside are really old. Okay, what size do we need? I'll get some batteries this afternoon. Number 57. You're not allowed to smoke in the dining room or in the lounge. Can we smoke in our offices? No, you can only smoke outside. Number 58. Checkout time is at noon, Mr. Smith. Okay. Could you send someone for my bags? Yes, sir. Will you need a taxi to the airport? Number 59. I'm sorry I was late. My bus was late again. That's the second time this week. I'll take an earlier one tomorrow. Number 60. Can I borrow your screwdriver? It's in my toolbox, but don't forget to return it. I'll give it back to you after lunch. Number 61. It was so cold my car wouldn't start. Mine was covered with ice. We should move to the tropics. Number 62. Could you work until 9 o'clock tonight? No, I have to be home by 8 o'clock. If you stayed until 6.30 or 7 o'clock, you would still make it. Number 63. I left your suitcase in the hall. Thanks. I was afraid it was still in the taxi. Don't worry. I'll take it upstairs after dinner. Number 64. I've always wanted to sail around the world. It would be faster to fly. I don't like to hurry. That's why I like boats. Number 65. Can you read the signature on the letter? No, it must be from a doctor. They never write clearly. No, it's from the library. My book is overdue. Number 66. Is this chair taken? No, it isn't. Please sit down. Thanks. All the other chairs are occupied. Number 67. 
Pete, it's two o'clock. It's the third time you've missed the meeting. You should have called me 15 minutes ago. I tried six times. Your line was busy. Number 68. Did the brochures come from the printers? They're in a white box on the floor of the supply room. Good. I need to mail a hundred of them to Singapore. Number 69. The company directory is being revised. It's about time. My phone number is listed incorrectly. Put your correct number on this form and return it by Friday. Number 70. Have you finished your breakfast? No, I'm still eating. Before you go to work, can you drive me to school? Number 71. This coffee is too strong. Add more water. That'll make it weaker. I can't drink it when it's this bitter. Number 72. Go ahead and turn left at the next intersection. We can't. It's one way going to the right. Well, now what do we do? Number 73. We'd like a table for two, please. How about one by the window in the non-smoking section? We'd prefer to eat in the smoking section. Number 74. It's freezing. Your new air conditioner really works. I have the system turned down low. It really circulates the air. It's like a refrigerator in here. Number 75. Let's play that song again. We've rehearsed it enough. Let's take a break. The concert is tomorrow. We need more practice. Number 76. Watch out for that hole in the road. They need to resurface this street. Every spring we get more and more holes. Number 77. I need a long-sleeved shirt. Yes, sir. What size and what color? I take a 16 neck and a 36 sleeve. The color should be white or blue. Number 78. We have enough cups for everyone at the party. I bought napkins, spoons, and forks. Now I hope the cake arrives in time. Number 79. We've waited half an hour for you. I'm sorry. I left over two hours ago. Yesterday you were 45 minutes late. Number 80. We always start our vacation the first week of August. Do you take the whole month? Yes. Two or three weeks isn't enough. Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several short talks. Each will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, 
so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is said. In your test book, you will read two or more questions about each short talk. The questions will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Questions 81 and 82 refer to the following weather report. The weather center at the airport reported at noon that the airport is closed this morning due to heavy fog. The fog will lift by early evening, and planes will be allowed to take off and land at that time. Now read question 81 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 82 in your test book and answer it. Questions 83 and 84 refer to the following special announcement. The express train from Washington to New York leaves Monday through Friday at 6.50 a.m. and arrives in Penn Station in New York at 9.30 a.m. The two-hour, 40-minute trip is nonstop. Now read question 83 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 84 in your test book and answer it. Questions 85 through 87 refer to the following recorded message. The City Convention Bureau reports that all hotels are full for the period of August 15th through August 30th. We regret the inconvenience. At the end of this message, you may leave your name and phone number to be put on a waiting list. If a room becomes available, we will contact you. Now read question 85 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 86 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 87 in your test book and answer it. Questions 88 through 90 refer to the following announcement. Thank you for your report, Ms. Johnson. It's 10.30 now. Before we continue with the board meeting and the question-answer period, why don't we take a coffee break? We'll resume in 15 minutes. Now read question 88 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 89 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 90 in your test book and answer it. Questions 91 and 92 refer to the following news item. Floodwaters have risen over 20 feet since Monday. Thousands of families have been evacuated. Fortunately, there has been no loss of life, but property damage is in the millions. Now read question 91 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 92 in your test book and answer it. Questions 93 and 94 refer to the following advertisement. Carlos's painting and decorating can make your home look like new. You choose the colors, and we supply the painters. Ask your neighbors. They probably use us. Now read question 93 in your test book and answer it. Go on to the next page.
Now read question 94 in your test book and answer it. Questions 95 and 96 refer to the following special announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Because of the large number of planes waiting to take off, 25 to be exact, we can expect to sit on the runway for a good 15 minutes or so. I ask you all to be patient, and we'll be airborne soon. Now read question 95 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 96 in your test book and answer it. Questions 97 and 98 refer to the following recorded announcement. Hello. You have reached the Center for the Performing Arts. Tonight in the small concert hall is the Young Musicians Recital at 8 p.m., in the large concert hall is the new company orchestra at 7.30. For ticket information, please call between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. Now read question 97 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 98 in your test book and answer it. Questions 99 and 100 refer to the following news item. All shipping came to a stop today when two tankers crashed into the side of the Panama Canal. This is the third shipping accident this month. Authorities will clear the canal within days. Now read question 99 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 100 in your test book and answer it. This is the end of the listening comprehension portion of the test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. This is the end of CD4.